All right, everybody, my name is uh, Humayo Wahab, and I'm the Executive Secretary of Canadian Seniors Cricket Association. Here with me, I have three of the chosen 16 who are going to represent uh, Canada at the first ever Cricket World Cup that is going to be held in Sydney, Australia in November 2018. Um, with me, I have Mr. Farooq Kermani, uh, also Rohan, and also Ravi. Uh, I'm going to uh, get back to them in a second here, but I am very excited to have these individuals over here with me and I'm also very excited to have the, the 16 players who were selected eventually to represent Canada at this World Cup. We have the most multicultural team um, this time uh, in the side and we are very excited and very hopeful that we are going to do really well this time around at this first ever, ever inaugural um, Cricket World Cup. With that, uh, I'll go over to Mr. Uh, Farooq Kermani. Uh, Farooq, by, uh, if you could walk us through, I mean, you have been playing cricket for a while now, so if you could just share with us um, your journey so far from a cricketing perspective. Where have you played? What have you represented? And what do you do as a cricketer yourself? Well, I mean, I uh, learned my cricket in Pakistan. I played the uh, same junior program and then for senior for Pakistan, I played Pakistan in 19, then went on to play for Pakistan side. I've been inside for twice in 79 and 75 as a 12 man, 13 man. But yeah, cricket is a passion. I'm from a family who played cricket all along. And then I moved, migrated to Canada in, in 75 and I started playing cricket over here and I represented Canada from 82 to 93, 94. I'm the longest Canadian captain to hold the captaincy for t 12 years. And then after when I retired, I started coaching cricket in, in Canada and r right now at the present I'm coaching the Canadian under 19 as the head coach. I'm really excited with the seniors uh, over 50 World Cup in Australia. I think the management uh, uh, and the organization have done a very very good job holding the trials and they're transparent how their selection and I'd like to thank you for giving me opportunity to come help them out. Excellent. So thank you for sharing that introduction, uh, Farubai. So you just said that you started your cricket back in 75. I wasn't even born then. Mm -hmm. So you obviously have uh, a lot of experience under your belt. So we appreciate you having uh, with us on this, um, on this journey and in the 16 as well. So we're really looking forward to your expertise and to your guidance as well from a coaching perspective to, to the 16. So thank, thank you, you for much. that. So with that, um, Rohan, why don't you share your thoughts, your experience, and uh, you know, as we heard uh, that you have represented uh, Canada as well, you have played against uh, Pakistan as well back in the days as well. So why don't you share with us, what do you do as a cricketer? Where have you played? Which clubs have you represented in, in Canada? And so on and so forth. So, um, so as again, like I said, uh, like everyone else said at the very beginning, uh, we really are appreciative of this association for what they have done. And most importantly, picking a team that is a representative of uh, very good top quality cricketers. Um, thank you for you guys. Uh, as far as my cricketing background, um, you know, I started playing cricket in Sri Lanka like all of us do as youngsters. I went on to play, uh, I played the inaugural uh, World Cup in 1979 where Sri Lanka won the ICC Trophy, uh, at which actually the final was against Canada, believe it or not. And um, then from there, played, uh, I was 12th man for the very first test match. Um, one of my colleagues did better than me in the previous uh, board 11 game and um, so you support the rest of the team. Uh, then I went on to, to Pakistan, which is the first Sri Lankan tour. I uh, played the, the third test match there. Um, unfortunately, it was a, a difficult experience for us. We had to face Imran at his very best and uh, we had had no, I had had no match practice for six weeks because the, the other games got rained out in, in Rawalpindi and Sialkot. And then moved to Canada and I've been playing for Canada since 1982 uh, until I I think the last year I played was around the same time as Farooq and I all played together. So we played together here for about 15 years at, at least uh, mm, through many tours. Uh, actually this, this team reminds me a little bit about the team that Farooq and I were on in 1986 when we went to England which we felt that we had a, a really good mix of players uh, from different areas. Unfortunately, um, we did not perform as well as we should have. There were so many reasons that uh, caused that. 
but uh, you know this is this is an opportunity for us to redo what we didn't do in uh, right. in right. 1996 because I think as we all age uh, things all equal out we're not playing an Australian test team where we were a Canada test team uh, at 50 years old and and over it's all about how many of us are playing cricket regularly and so on so uh, most of my cricket here was played as Great Church is the only club I played for literally for again 25 years um, and you know that's pretty much the background that is amazing thank you for sharing that with us so you obviously have a lot of experience playing international cricket as well so absolutely quite quite excited to have you on board with us as well and and hopefully uh, you know we all are gonna do good as as a team for sure on this tour so with that Ravi uh, same question comes to you as well how long have you been playing cricket walk us through your journey who which clubs have you represented um, and what do you do as a cricketer as well yeah <coughs> First of all, I'd like to thank the uh, Canadian Senior uh, Association for giving me this opportunity to uh, take part in this uh, Seniors World Cup in Sydney, Australia. Um, my cricket, like I said, um, I'm from Sri Lanka, and I learned my cricket uh, in Sri Lanka. Uh, but I never played big cricket in Sri Lanka. I only played school cricket. And then I left, uh, left Sri Lanka <coughs> in 83, 1983 and went to England. And that's where I started playing um, real competitive cricket. And uh, I have represented uh, Kent League, and uh, I got the opportunity to play the Surrey Seconds when uh, Waka Yunis was playing the first level. Mm -hmm. And that's where <coughs> I played my competitive cricket. Then I migrated to uh, Canada in 92, and um, I didn't play much cricket until uh, I started seeing uh, Brian and uh, Rohan and <coughs> Shanta, who and I put, and I played with them in Grace Church for a couple of years. Then <coughs> mainly I started playing uh, uh, good cricket after playing for Great Church Centurions. And Centurions gave me the opportunity to uh, play cricket and then I represented Canada. Funny, I was, I was the oldest player to represent Canada. I was 42 when I represented Canada. Wow. And the 40, uh, 40 games against Kenya and Bermuda. And um, mind you, Canada beat uh, both games. And Kenya had the full side with Tikalo and the, all the uh, strong. Right. players. Um, <coughs> that's where, I, and I've been playing uh, club cricket for Centurions for the last 20 uh, odd years. And um, I've been mainly bowling and fielding and occasionally I get batting. <laughs> Excellent. So nice to have you on board as well and congratulations on, on making the cut to the final 16. Uh, and hopefully all the best wishes to you as well. So coming back to you, uh, Farooq sir, so walk us through the cricket in Canada. So you have been coaching the under-19 team um, off of late. What are your thoughts about the youth that's coming up? Um, well, Canada, I mean, our youth is very promising. It's uh, like I've been around the world watching the other countries, their, uh, their young team, uh, their youth. We have a lot of talent in this country. All we need is more structure so, so we can bring along more coaching, overseas coaching, more tours to get our youngsters opportunity to play and show their talent. It's a really, really good to see that we have a lot of talent in this country. Absolutely, thank you for sharing that. Uh, one thing that I would like to mention over here is that um, as, as part of the management team of the uh, Canadian Seniors Cricket Association, within the past couple of years, we have toured um, Pakistan twice. So the first ever tour was of Karachi. Uh, and then the second tour was Karachi and Lahore, and now this is our third stint uh, as an organization to, to take a team outside of Canada. Um, so, uh, having said that, um, what are your thoughts about, I mean, obviously you were not part of that team when we first toured, yeah. and uh, Rohan, you, and so, so were you, Ravi. What are your thoughts about coming along to the future tours with, uh, with the organization, not only representing the fi uh, you know, 50 and over, but you know, we started off with uh, 40 and over, which I participated in as well. So what are your thoughts around joining us onto those tours as well? So collectively, if you could I, I think it's, it's very important that we keep playing cricket. Doesn't matter, the age doesn't ma mean nothing. I think this is a good organization and giving us the guys who are retired and they're fit and they have a passion for this game to come along and show their talents and, and, and give something back to the country. And the more you tour, the more you learn about 
you are making friends of other, other countries, uh, playing good cricket, and it's, it's a benefit for your health too. You stay, stay fit mm -hmm. and uh, you last long in this world. Absolutely, thank you. And you, Rohan, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, tours? Um, absolutely, I'd love to be part of them. Uh, you know, I have taken many private tours to England, um, similar uh, to this. We've gone and played in different places. Uh, besides being picked into representative uh, teams, so it's it's uh, it's fantastic. And I, if I'm invited again to any of the associations tours, I'll definitely be interested in 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 participating. Absolutely, yeah. thank you. And you, Ravi? Yeah, same as um, uh, for Bayan or Rohan said, health is wealth. So age is a guess number, and I'd love to be a part of the. Uh, future tours as well. Absolutely, and rightly so. So with that, yes, health as well, that is absolutely right. So Canada is all about promoting a healthy culture. Our organization, Canadian Seniors Cricket Association, is all about promoting a healthy culture. Um, multiculturalism is in our mandate as well from, a, from Canada's perspective, and that what you see here uh, with me uh, as well. So we have a good representation from Pakistan as well as Sri Lanka, and we have a lot of uh, good representation from India as well as uh, Caribbean. So, so hats off to everybody who participated and, uh, and with that um, I'd like to close here and we'll see you next time on the road.